Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to another, uh, this week's edition of Mars Madness here on TruthCatRadio.com. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Uh, let's get ready for madness. Oh my goodness, this stuff has been going on. I, I was, just before I went to air, I started reading these articles about my boy Andy. The judge is back and there's gonna be trouble. Hey la, hey la, the judge is back. Yeah, you better be retreating, cause you're gonna get a beating. Judge Andy Napolitano, they, they put him back on Fox. He was gone for like 10 days, right? I started talking about last show, last week, about Andrew Napolitano, and he remarked that Obama went through the British intelligence to get info from Donald Trump's phone calls <laughs> that they were wiretapping him. <laughs> well, Napolitano Soros Rex got pulled off of Fox News for about 10 days now, but now he's back, baby. In an interview on Fox this very morning, he said he stands by his statements and the sources stand by it. That's what he says. And the American public needs to know more about this rather than less because a lot of government surveillance authorities will expire in the fall and there will be a great debate about how much authority we want the government to have to surveil us. And the more the American public knows about this, the more informed their and Congress's decisions will be. Short and sweet. It was the beginning. And he, was, he was in an interview, and then he went on to talk about something else. I don't know. I didn't listen to that. Uh, I like Andrew Napolitano, you know. Uh, it's like he's got, he takes a chance because he's on Fox News. Anyway, so anyway, Fox had to know that he would say these things, right? I'm sure that the last 10 days they've had meetings about it. Because uh, the few times I've watched him, you know, I, I feel like he's, uh, <laughs> they're, they're wishing he didn't, wasn't saying what he was saying. So who is this guy? Judge Andrew Peter Palatano is a graduate of Princeton University and the University of Notre Dame Law School. He presided over more than 150 jury trials and thousands of motions, sentencings, and hearings. He taught constitutional law and jurisprudence at Delaware Law School for two years and at Seton Hall Law School for 11 years. He was often chosen by his students as their most outstanding professor. The man's got personality, that's for sure. And I like the professors with the personalities. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Fox, they had no choice. they got to keep him around, you know. It gives, it gives their, their show, you know, it's like an air of credibility, the whole Fox News and Network. You know, it's, otherwise it's pretty much an obvious propaganda outlet. I mean, we all know that, right? It's dedicated to telling the lies of the elite from the right side of the bad penny that is our government, from the right cheek of Rupert Murdoch's ass. Actually, I have it on good authority that the man has two right cheeks. <laughs> That's my theory on the subject. It's the right wing of the vulture that is eating us alive. That is Fox News. That is uh, News Corp. Rupert Murdoch's baby, one of the five corporations that uh, owns everything that we call news in this country. But you know, but they had to bring it back. They had to. I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to lose him to NBC because NBC got on the wagon wagon yesterday. This was him. Trump uh, was uh, the judge was talking today. Gave us a little sneak preview, I guess, is what to expect from him in future broadcasts. But yesterday on NBC, actually, it was. Their sister ship, MSNBC, which I guess stands for uh, Monstro? What is, what is that mean? Um, anyway, they got a the bandwagon yesterday. They, they uh, you know, they, they don't want to be left behind on this Obama was wiretapping Trump expose that's going on. Now, it's, got, it's become the big news. CNN's telling their lies on the subject. But these two are apparently trying to get on the bandwagon of they got no choice because the cat is out of the bag. So, so yesterday, a lady named uh, Evelyn Farkas, she's the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense in Obama's administration, was live on MSNBC telling tales out of school. Oh, yes, she was. She went on and on about it. She said, 
she was talking about her own experience that I was telling my people, this is what she was saying, I was telling my people and the people on the Hill, get as much intelligence as you can before Obama leaves the administration. Because I had a fear that information would disappear with the senior people when we left. If the Trump folks found out how we knew what we knew about the Trump staff meeting with Russians, they would try to compromise those sources and methods. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So they knew they had to get in there while the getting was good. She went on to say, meaning that we would no longer have access to that intelligence. I knew we were getting enough, so I talked to my former colleagues, and I know they were also trying to get information to the Hill. That's why you have the leaking. So she's trying to take it away. You know, what is she trying to do? Is she trying to discount Napolitano's British spies story? Or is she just trying to pile onto it? And because, you know, if she's telling the truth, <laughs> then ladies and gentlemen, there are leaks all over the place. We, we, we ain't, those people can't keep nothing secret, especially their own corruption, because I got news for you. What they're doing here is illegal. And Judge Napolitano, he goes into great detail on this at his website. I went over there to see, see if he had any blogs on the subject, and I was not disappointed. Uh, Napolitano says on his website, Obama would not have needed a warrant to authorize surveillance on Trump. Obama was the president and as such enjoyed authority under the Foreign International Surveillance Act, that's FISA for those of you who wondered what FISA stood for, uh, to order surveillance on any person in America without suspicion, probable cause, or a warrant. Basically, they used that act as permission for the federal government spying on everyone in the U.S. The mass spying that these judges have ruled FISA authorizes is directly counter to the wording, meaning, and purpose of FISA itself, which was enacted to prevent just what it has, in fact, now unleashed. We now know, indisputably, that this secret FISA court, whose judges cannot keep records of their own work and have their pockets and briefcases checked by guards as they enter and leave the courthouse, this secret FISA court has permitted all spying on everyone all the time. And, uh, you know, this is not news. I mean, it's like they're acting like it's news. Oh, no way. The man can be spying. Oh, no, 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 no. You say that Obama spied on Trump? Why, you're uh, terrible people. I'm sure that, I don't know. I don't really pay any attention to the mainstream media, but I... Uh, it seems like that's all being screamed about. I can kind of hear it echoing through the trees outside my house. It's basically CNN and what have you, you know, the Clinton News Network and the, the people, Soros' people, who are trying desperately to bring down Trump for anything he says. If he says, oh, they're spying on me, <laughs> and they're spying on all of us, by the way, that he's a bad person. We must, we must impeach him immediately. Quickly bring in the guillotines. They're crazy out there anyway.